Come do Maui Bird. <laughs> Fantastic. Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, tonight, uh, we're going to review Mountain Dew, I guess, right? Is that the... Uh... Oh, we caught that? Good. No, I don't, we didn't Mountain actually Dew catch Mountain Dew Maui Burst but... is incredible. Well, now we now it is. Here it is. Go get it. What, General, so what like flavor is that? Your court. It's like pineapple or pina colada flavor. Interesting. I was Sounds out for supplies good. today, and I uh, ran by and got a couple of these, too. Only mm-hmm. a buck for a 20-ounce can. There, Here, there I'll drink it live on air. There, there you go. Oh, so. wow. This is official endorsement. right there. I, I did get the Baja Blast myself uh, the last time I went to the store, so that's uh, it. Mountain Dew, you can PayPal us our royalty checks at <laughs> <laughs> give us money at tftalk.net. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, wow. Sure, I'm sure they will, so. Uh, anyway, yeah, so yeah. Sure. So, so tonight, uh, we've got Rob back again. Along with the uh, the usual crew, we've got Anna and uh, Christian and myself, Lucas. So we, we we have to invite Rob because these two goons stopped collecting quality toys and they only collect mainline trash. So to if talk about the these price, nice I figures, that, it's pretty fun. I mean, isn't that doesn't that go for everything? If it wasn't for the price, <laughs> gosh, if it wasn't for the price. If all Transformers were free, my house would just be a bound of Transformers. I, I don't and if houses were free, anymore. I, I don't buy them. I don't well, do good. It. This wasn't $100. You know, buy houses? I don't, I don't know. 120 bucks? 140 bucks? I thought it was like 90 80 or 90 I could be wrong. 10000 I think is it wasn't it 100 I don't know. I mean, we could probably do a quick Google search. I mean, I think well, I think this figure is widely available. She was a figures. Hondo and the Kitty Cat. No, it's not. It's sold out. At least not they, anymore. It's sold out. Really? The Kitty Cat's at least sold out. I are, are we you sure? You might be able to find a sale if you go They're around. both sold out. Like, good. Good. Okay. So she was ninety nine. So she was ninety nine ninety five, which is not a hundred. All right, I'm gonna have to look up because I swear that either Big Bad or TF Source put up pre-orders. I think Big Bad might still have some of her Lucas, but they're in that like weird pre-order phase where they're actually getting it from somewhere else. Right. Yeah, I thought Big Bad had them up like 140 or something like that. Oh God. Anyway, um, tonight we are going to talk about the exclusives from the TFCon that never happened. They're sold out on Big Bad as well. Well, there we go. Perfect. Wow. It's good that you proved yourself right, Rob, because otherwise the viewers would have never been able to sleep tonight. I will say question. there was a hundred dollar item on Big Bad today uh, that went up that I was a little disappointed that I didn't get an opportunity to buy, which is the bump of chicken. I guess they like put up some Did limited it? supplies, and I guess uh, Rick got it. Uh, Don tweeted it out, and I I snoozed, and so they I'm not one. Huh. No, no, no. They had what? several, but they, okay, like, well, uh, I did, I was not quick enough, like, because I did not really. I mean, that. you snoozed and you won. You saved yeah. yourself a hundred bucks. That is entirely right. right. You right. saved a hundred dollars on a legend scale figure. Right. A garbage legend scale figure. Yeah. 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 It's not great. I mean, at Anyways, least like that. Uh, we're here. Oh man. Yeah. Tonight we're here to talk to listen to Lucas talk about his failure to buy a book of chicken. But does no. it come with a free Mountain Dew weird variety pack? Is yeah, the question. Absolutely. That is true. Do you know how many weird variety packs I'd buy? No, it's actually really expensive to order soda imported off the internet, isn't it, Krishna? It's horribly expensive. Uh, Krishna knows about that. Yeah, Krishna would always try to tell. So expensive. Krishna would always forty Japanese soda. I was going to say, he'd always try to get us, like, whenever we ordered something off of Amazon Japan or HLJ or whatever, to, like, he's like, while you're at it, you should throw some Pepsi on there. So. Okay, so I, at the time, I didn't know how bad the shipping was, because I ordered it in a bunch of other stuff, so I already had expensive shipping, so it was, like, two bucks a bottle or whatever. But when I was making another order, I was like, oh, I'll just throw another in. It wasn't as big of an order. And it changed my shipping from about twenty five bucks to about seventy five bucks to ship liquid. And I was like, "Ooh, liquid is heavy." That. Did you know liquid's that? Heavy. It's heavy. So if you got a big giant people. order, maybe it's okay. If you're just looking to import soda, probably not. But probably not for the most part. So tonight we're here 
to talk about the exclusives from the TFCon that recently did not happen. MMC had two exclusives slated to release there, and they went ahead and made them open to the public to order from a couple different websites. And we were able to order them, and it took a few weeks. You know, we didn't get them right when the con happened, but we were able to get two of the fun exclusives from the convention, which is this <coughs> white repaint of Ravage we'll be talking about, and an orange and pink repaint of RC that we'll be talking about. But um, I was going to say we go ahead and we start with Doc Cat, um, because... I'm the only one who has them, so it'll probably be somewhat short. And, I mean, it's a it's a cat figure, so it's not going to be a super long conversation about it. So I just have the normal one of him. So, like, I have familiarity with the mold. My question is, are his missiles, his hip missiles, because, you know, they're attached, they don't come off. Um, are they the vac metal again, or are they just solid normal plastic this time? They are, I'm going to say they're vac metal. Okay. Cause that's a shame because mine did this a while back like because it's two pieces when he's in tape mode it flattens yeah. out and it's that kind of there's only one attachment point which is right there which is where it broke and so if you have this like it's not like it's poorly made or anything but anytime stuff is made with that kind of weird plastic that they put back metal on you know you can tell when you're bending it that it doesn't feel it's not like the rest of the plastic of the figure um, so just be careful if you're flattening that missile in and out. You know, it it just because of gravity, it stays there when he's in cat mode, but it's not like snug or anything. And because it's on a spot that needs to spin, you can't glue it back on. Um, and it's funny, watching the the Facebook groups today, that's actually the second report of a broken ravage I've heard today. So really? it's probably not that uncommon. <laughs> Yeah, um, I actually broke, the, the one that I sold to you, I broke that. And um, not the one you have. Like So I contacted MMC, and they actually ended up giving me a replacement part for it. Oh, that's um, cool. So I don't know if they still are doing that or not. I mean, this was, you know, a year ago or something like that. Uh, when if I was it. smart, I would have contacted them, but I, it just, I didn't think about it. I was like, oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, so. You just broke it two days ago. Now contact them. Right. Okay. I was gonna say, you could try contacting them and just seeing what they do. Cause, if like, they have parts, they don't care. Right. But. This just happened. Yeah, so anyway, this is the the first one we'll talk about is this one. And like Rob said, he's had it. Lucas has had it. Have you ever had the mold, Christian? Nope. No. So Christian's missed out on the mold, but we can talk about it, you know, briefly. Um, I didn't leave mine in cassette mode, and Rob doesn't have his in the cassette mode. I don't know if you want to transform it. That seems like a annoyance that wouldn't really do very much. It's not that bad, like, as far as transformation. Like, I really like MMC's cassette molds. They do a it's really a weird, good job. It's it's a weird toy. It does not transform how you think it w would it transform. Like, you can kind of get a gist of it here. Is it, like, it splits in the middle. And it, it, but it's still all jointed. And it's just kind of, like, full origami <laughs> out to make a rectangle. <laughs> yeah, it's really it, fun. Um, you know, it being one of the... Uh, or being the first they did of the remix, remix line, which is, you know, the cassettes that are all, they're big, you know, because, like, here he is next to a Shattered Glass Ravage. You know, this is the Generations or the Classics one or whatever that came out, and you can see, you know, he's, he's huge compared yeah, to him. Um, next to a Deluxe, just so you can see the um, comparison. He's a nice big kitty cat. Yeah, so it's it's, it's well done or whatever, but I think it's also, in a way, kind of the weakest, weakest of the remix line. Like I think they got better as they went on. Like their laser beak and buzz saw pack are, like, you know, look even more like they do on the cartoon. They have optional labels that you can put on them to make them look like better cassettes. And then their uh, rumble frenzy is just those are just excellent. The rumble frenzy yeah. is fantastic. I I could not be happier with my purchase of this. Um, it's a really good toy. And the transformation is like, actually, you know how I, how I hate all complicated transformations. It takes a minute, but it's fun the whole time, so I like it. Like, it does a really good job of making a rectangle into a man, and the man actually poses well. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about a rectangle that turns into a cat. And his, uh, his shins are well. die-cast still, I assume? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. so like he's he's heavy. I mean, he's All not like oh, legs. God. But, you know, he's got nice weight to him and he has a good feel to him. Yeah, he's a nice heavy figure. He's not hard to transform, at least for me, like for once, right? I'm almost always complaining about transformations. Not this time. And um, he gets to look pretty well, like Rob said. It's probably not as good as the other cassettes get the look down. But, I mean, he does get the the Ravage look pretty well and a pretty, you know, animate face and all that kind of stuff for what it's worth. You know, I would say, you know, if you're if you've been curious about this toy or this mold or some version of it, I think any version of it you can get, you're going to be pretty happy with it. Um, it's one that I snoozed on it. I didn't buy it for a while because I was like, you know, it's not in masterpiece scale. You know, they're because they're big, like they're not going to fit in anything. Because the, I think they transform to like standard cassette size. Yeah, they come, yep, they do. They come like they come with the the J J cards and inserts and the you know like like a cassette would. You know, yeah. There's Anna showing it off for Docat, Docat, Docat. I don't know. Um, Doc cat. Docat, Doc cat. Oh, Doc cat. He's a doctor and a cat. Got it. Yeah. But no, this, medic and he's glad. But no, this has just been a really cool subline they've done, and I, don't know, I think they just keep getting better. So it's worth picking up. I think Doc Cat if you don't have any version of it. I think so too. I've I've heard that. I'm um, just looking around. The Doc Cat is the one that's like completely sold out everywhere. Unfortunately, hopefully if you no that it, one you actually. So I price. I just checked like while we're doing the show. He's up for pre order at Big Bad. Uh, I think that's oh, the only cool. place he's he left. Back. So. Yeah, Azalea is not available, but the docket is. That's good. Well, if you can get a hold of him or any version of him, I agree with Rob. He's really good. For some reason, I didn't really enjoy posing him as Ravage. You know, I have the Ravage one that I got from Lucas, as he said, because I bought all of Lucas' secondhand crap. And I just, like, I really wanted him. I was really excited to have a correct Ravage to put in my displays for my Decepticons. And I just, like, don't care about posing them. You know, I kind of, he stands there, and it's like, Ravage is here now. Yay. Because you need a bird to ride him. posing these guys. Perfect. He, he does need a bird to ride him. But I just, I don't really get into posing Ravage. But when I got the white one, they could either be a, um, a Shattered Glass Ravage or a Kiss Players reference. You know, I have my choice of weird crap he can reference. For some reason, I suddenly got excited about posing him. Posed him, took a bunch of pictures, had a lot of fun playing with him. I just needed him to be a more goofy character, I guess. You know, I mean, and on that note, if you want to pose him, I mean, you can kind of go all day with it. You know, it's a, um, I mean, he's got, you know, swivels at his feet, and, you know, he's got all the hip joints, and because of his transformation, you know, he has a lot of arc in his belly. At a couple different spots, and you know, his head can go up and down. He's got a jaw, he's got a tail that goes up and down. So he's got a lot of points that you can get him in cute poses, like uh, now he's waving. Yes, he can wave and be a proper shattered glass ravage, except his head's not cute enough, but that's okay. He does the trick when he has to. But you know, Glit was also in Kiss Players, which is some weird guilty pleasure of mine these days. So I figured, might as well. It's an excellent three pack cassette, three pack from the Kiss Players line. I almost have a version of all three of them. We say I have the KFC Rosanna, and then I have this Glit, and then I just need to get a Sunder, and I'll be good. I don't think we have any other Sunders yet, do we? Yes, he came out in Generations as a data disc. Yeah, okay. so I okay. could get a real cheapy, crappy one, or <laughs> I could just get any laser beak and dip him in orange paint. <laughs> And I be done. You can't use my knowledge and then crap on it. <laughs> That's against the rules. That's my life. Flag on the play. But like seriously, I could just take this guy right and get like a bowl of orange paint and just dip him in it. And I'd be like, it's so door. I don't. Perfect. I don't think. It's I don't know. Anymore. I think that that might actually be uh, one of the better versions of that mold. The um, the little data disc things like. Yes. I actually like that one. It is. Thank you. So It's the not bad one, that's for sure. Yeah. Anyway, as far as the, the kitty cat mold that we're talking about tonight, he is 
Like, I mean, I guess it just kind of depends on how you're going to feel about it. Like, if you really want a version of this character, like, if you need a white Ravage body to be one of the two characters that he's been used as, he's good for it. Um, I think he's really cool, and I really like him. I have no regrets. But that being said, you know, he's a cat thing. He is very opposable, but he's as opposable as a cat thing is going to be. So he's not going to be, like, the super enthralling figure. I mean, gonna, like, change your action. I, I would say that he's the best, um, like the Ravage or whatever. I mean, it's probably the the best Ravage that we've gotten overall of like any of the Ravages. My only yeah. complaint again is is like what Rob said, like where I broke the missile off. So I, it annoys me that one point, and so because of that, I don't really. I ended up selling him to you because I just didn't want to have to worry about breaking it again. Um, <sighs> So from that point, and I actually ended up getting the um, the reformatted version of Ravage, which does not turn into a tape, um, but it um, like the articulation, like it's it's not going to break, and uh, it, it has a similar level of articulation, and so I actually enjoy having that version of Ravage um, over over this one myself. But I would actually recommend instead of getting the white one for me, because I like to have like the definitive versions of characters and whatnot is to try to get the original mold, or I believe that they are actually doing a, um, um, a reissue in anime colors. And I don't know, is that one a planet steel express exclusive or are they going to have that up at, at like chosen prime and all the places for all I knew it was already out. Like I, okay. I'm not saying it is. Just I remember seeing that there is a more anime cover. It has, like, I thought like, it was out, but I honestly don't know either. Yeah. I mean, I'm making the assumption that they ran the mold the exact same time as this one. You know probably. that that they probably were just running, just put a different color in for for this one yeah. when they did it and and whatnot. So. Yeah, and if you want a Shattered Glass Ravage, I mean, I think this is going to be the best version of it. You know, I have the Generations one, which is cute and it's fun. And, you know, and I have the Kiss Players one, but that's the G1 mold. It is what it is, you know? Um, they're all yeah. fun. I like them all, but, you know, this is by far going to be the best looking one. Yeah, this is something I think will actually go on my desk at work because it is just weird. And he doesn't go anywhere else in my collection. So he can hang out and be my robot cat thing. I know. You know, as a kid, I, I honestly always thought Ravage was a dog. I never caught on that he was a cat till later. Uh, apparently in the chat they're doing a drinking game where every time you guys mention Kiss players that they take a drink. So. That's four. <laughs> but here's a question. Does Doc Cat hate Mondays? <laughs> love lasagna. I, I don't know. It's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> So It'd the gen- so many things would also be Garfield. The generation shattered glass one that you're showing off, Rob. <laughs> like, I'm assuming that is uh, was that Botcon or what was that from? So was that just a regular retail Botcon, release? 2012, 2010. I don't remember. <laughs> I think at this point you can only get it by trading organs for it. So I mean, I know I know this you know the That's ravage right. that this was originally came with Generations Hound right yeah and then they repainted that in that I think it was the 2012 set um, I think and the Hound as um Scorch I think is who it was yeah it's Scorch uh, and then I think it came with this at the same time yeah yeah that was my favorite ravage forever so this is I mean, probably no a cheaper. Easier to find version than than that. Honestly. Oddly enough, this is probably cheaper and easier to find. Yes, can um, it's much bigger, nicer. Uh, Tony is asking if you could uh, put some siege figures next to the Ravage to see like what the size comparison is. It's a pretty big one, so yeah, I got I got this yeah. piece of garbage right here. So fun. Yeah, it was twenty ten. Came with Scorch. What was the packing with? Was it Rapido? Does that help you, Tony? I know I just randomly grabbed a Megatron, but he was what was closest in my hands. I mean, they're beefy. I like that the figures that you have readily available, Anna, are just the most garish figures. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's usually one of the stuff that I'm playing with, which is usually the garish figures. But he's also 
Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's on my pick right here. I can't quite grab him without destroying everything. We do have a great Ravage to compare him to. I have a real garbage Ravage to compare him to. Is that That's the right. knockoff. The knockoff. The knockoff USB. USB. Mine. Uh, no, my original crumbled. And I actually. Aww. Wow. My boss from like, I don't know, four years ago or whatever. He went on a trip somewhere and he saw that in a store and it was the knockoff and he's like, hey. You know, got to this. You know, I'm sure it was cheap or whatever. And that one was sturdier than my original that has just crumbled. That's too bad. Yeah. I got it as a gift from someone who didn't know it was a knockoff. So, <laughs> similar to you. It was, it was nice. Yep. Carried my data for a long time. And then the, um, the USB, the USB doesn't work anymore. Like, it doesn't come in and out. Like, you can, like, shove it and, like, really yank it to get it out of there. But... I wouldn't. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. It's a toy now. Um, like, I think it was an 8 gig, and now you can get an 8 gig for, like, You wouldn't get cents. an 8 gig. Yeah. Right. It's hard to get. <laughs> That's true. It's too small. It's a collector. Anyway, item. so, we both cool like figure. him. He's cool. Get him if you want a Shattered Glass Ravage or a Glut, because he's cool, and he works as either. And he probably won't stick around. Like, he probably won't be easy to get for very long. Yeah, MMC makes their stuff to order. Yeah. So for the most part, once MMC stuff sells out, it's gone. You know, which mm-hmm. like sometimes like Big Bad will speculatively buy extra. So then some things may stick around a little longer, but you know, usually it doesn't happen. Their well, cassettes have been notoriously hard to get after their original releases. Like right now, Ravages, because there's so many versions of them, are a- you're able to get Ravages right now. But, like, these guys are still really hard to get a hold of. Yeah, um, they, they usually do. Ha, they've done reruns, I think, of all the stuff. So, I mean, the one thing I will say about a lot of their convention exclusives is kind of cool is they, like, they're not hard to get. Like, if you if you really want it and it go like, the day that it goes up, if you order it from Planet Steel or, like, one of the retailers, like, Toy Jojo, Ages 3 and Up or whatever, like, you can get it. But then, like, after that period ends, like, it's really hard to find. And so, like, I know that I had a really hard time, you know, like, I was trying to collect all the different, you know, convention exclusives back in the day. And it's just, it's just impossible to come up with some of those older ones. Made to order. People that want it, want to keep it. And if they want to get rid of it, they're going to want to more than what they paid for it. Right. So there's definitely some collectability there that, you know, for that. For those, yeah. you know. Yeah, for sure. So I guess we can move on now to our um, to our other figure for the night, the one was, that Rob actually has. I was real excited for her. Super excited. I put the visor eyes on her to break her up from a previous exclusive version of her that I have as well. Do you have all the versions of her so far? These are the only two. Okay, so you don't my- have the... Original no. King for the black one? No. Um, I wouldn't mind the black one because it's so odd, but you know, I also don't know if I want a third version of the same toy. Um, so, you know, I picked her up when it's because she, you know, she, the only was it Paradon or Paradron? Something like that. Paradron. Paradron Medic, you know, and it looks good on my like extra G1 shelf that I have because, um, you know, she's in the cartoon, you know. Um, but now I want. I feel like this kind of reminds me of like their G2 Mirage, and that's one thing you know. MMC repaints the hell out of their stuff, but I think they really do some deep cuts, and she's a super deep cut. Um, yeah, bizarrely the, deep cut. Yeah, if anybody doesn't know what it is at this point, um, you know, we never got a G1 RC figure, but there was a prototype, like design sketch or whatever for one that was like a heavy chrome dome remold. Or at least it looked like it was kind of based off that engineering, and it was in these colors, and that was kind of like you know what they were thinking of doing as an art as for RC. Um, but of course, it never happened; it never came out, and that's what this is a throwback to. Yeah. So for some reason, we were going to get this weird orange RC, and they were very like I feel like they were um, they put in a lot of effort to make it look as much like that like one picture of a prototype as possible. Like, this is not the original Azalea face mold at all. This is an entirely different face. Mm-hmm. Turned into this much more angular 70s 
style of face with, you know, larger lips and everything to better match the prototype. And, you know, it's really ugly as it's supposed to be. I mean, and the head crest is completely different as well. Like, yeah. there's obviously, like, and you can see some of the Leia buns that, you know, RC has, but they're really, really muted on the on this one because I assume that's the way the prototype was. And all the heads, you know, have this new style to them and all the faces and stuff. She comes with yeah. a bunch of them. I don't have them here, but she comes with a crap ton of hands and a bunch of different faces. And then, you know, uh, she's got the two heads because I have the orange head on and um, you can see her there with the white head and the big blue anime eyes, which is pretty funny looking. <laughs> yeah, that's how mine looks right now. Now, I'm going to say something about these eyes. Like, when I saw the them having made this face, I was like, what are they making that face for? Like, is it supposed to be funny? Is it supposed to be, like, make your RC look like a weirdo? What is going on with that? But in person, it actually looks totally right. Like, it looks fine. It actually looks like a more big-eyed anime version of RC. It doesn't look nearly as weird as it does in photos or videos or anywhere else. I don't know what it is about seeing it in person. It just works a lot better. And honestly, when I got the figure with its original face on, with the prototype face, I was like, you know, this is fine. I'm going to put it on the shelf, and it's going to be like, you know, in my weird, obscure area, and I'm not going to care much about it. But once I put this head on, I was like, oh, this actually looks good. <laughs> to me, somehow. Somehow the combination of orange and pink and other pink and white um, works really well for me. So I really like it this way. Um, it's a weird face, though. It's a really weird face. It's definitely unique. Do you have the original <laughs> still, Anna? The original RC? The original one. Or is it the original Azalea? I do not have the pink one. I only have the black one in this one right now. Oh, okay. And, and the black one, I also gave the anime face. Oh. <laughs> oh that looks weird. She looks like, super psychotic, and I love it. Jeez. See, see, I feel like the black one, the best one, is that orange, like, pumpkin face or whatever. Yeah, I think what I'm going to try putting that orange face in the orange helmet and uh -huh. see how that looks. I haven't done that yet. I think that might be kind of interesting. There you go. Oh, one thing that surprised me when I got her in there, I mean, I'd seen the pictures or whatever, but I never study pictures, especially stuff that I know I'm going to buy. I would just rather get it in hand. Um, her kneecaps actually aren't gray. They're green. And you know, and you look at the prototype, and it's like, oh, well, that's that's why because they're supposed to be green. But uh, it really just kind of adds to the odd mishmash clash of colors she has going on, um, which she has a bunch of it, <laughs> which is wonderful. For, yeah, she's know. pretty flashy, pretty flashy. Yeah. Like not actually ugly though. Mm -hmm. Other than the face, the 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 prototype face is hideous, but it's hideous in a good way. Nice to see that MMC has like a garish figure collection now. Like between this and they the watermelon, do. they're doing good. The the watermelon uh, colored um, uh, mirage. So yeah, I'm curious what they'll continue to do. So we oh. never reviewed the original Azalea on the show. I don't think did we? I don't, I don't think we think talked so. about the black no. one that came out or anything. Um, so we never reviewed it on the show, so just, like, to go through really fast, you know, people really like this figure at this point. You know, she's been out for, like, two years, I guess. Something like that, yeah. Uh, they're actually doing a re- like, a uh, re-release of the original figure, but in slightly different colors uh, that should be coming out soon. Yeah, so there's the original pink, there's the new re-release of the pink that's going to be a different pink. And then there's this color version. Then there's also the Paradron version, which is pretty hard to get and relatively expensive. And really? then there's the Self version, which is, I don't think, as expensive as the Paradron. Um, but anyway, so there's a lot of different varieties of it. This figure is well-received. People like it. It poses pretty well for the most part. Like it, so It's a little back-heavy. It takes poses really well. Like, you can put her in all sorts of poses. Her best poses are either sitting or laying down, though, because standing is difficult. And the bottom half of her legs are all die-casts, which gives her weight down there. So, like, they were trying to to help 
the balance problems you have, and it's um, and things like it, she actually cleans up really well as far as RCs go. Um, definitely better than what we saw the pictures of the official one coming out. Um, but it's still just the way she is. It just makes her kind of hard to get to stand properly. But she will. She'll stand fine. Um, but you know, you got to work at it a little bit. It's got to balance. Um, uh, do you do you have uh, some other masterpiece figures that you can compare her to? Uh, somebody was asking if it's MP, two, MP scale. So I think um, yes, she is MP scale, but it's like similar to the MP cars. Um, so I know some people uh, prefer fans toys, which is a little bit taller uh, than, than I'll this one. I'll grab that out of my shelf real quick. Okay. And I can also... I have a lot of things in my desk right now, which I really need to change. Um, I also have... Big screen here. Big screen's so head's like her. getting cut off since you like have a stand there. Like the okay. top, the top of it, you can't actually see. His head's kind of the worst part. <laughs> oh. There. See, she's she's tiny compared to my version of Springer. Yeah, there she is with Rouge. Yeah, yeah, Rouge is like much taller. But I don't know. For me, I feel like that her size. Big screen, and then Rob's held up the um, the fans' toys. RC, I'm just trying to narrate what we're doing a little bit. I don't know. I, I feel like overall the the MMC Azalea is would be my masterpiece RC. Um, I think that it's a lot of fun. The transformation is really fun. I like the look. I like the way it looks better than uh, the fans' toys personally. Uh, and I think it is is a really good companion both to the uh, the hot rod figure, the the masterpiece hot rod uh, that came out, and then also the new uh, fans to- or not fans toys MMC Springer. Like if you if you get that figure as well, so um, I I think if you're trying to get a movie shelf, like that that's the figure that I would get for RZ personally. But I know everybody's different. I think she's a good choice for it. I, I, I like Rouge better. I'm always going to like Rouge better. I just think she looks better overall. But this version of the mold, I actually really like the way it looks because of the coloring. I just think I, I probably would be one of the people who would like the recolor, the new pink RC better than the old one. So, oh, there I you go. Say you would like one of the official RCs in this colorway. That's me. Oh, yeah, that would be fun. That'd be fun. Not Who knows? That, Maybe you'll. Though, that trash. Perhaps we'll we'll get that. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what Takara when they release their RC, uh, what repaints they do. Yeah. So Rob also showed her with the. Um, is that the masterpiece or the? Yes. Toys? Yeah. This okay. is the masterpiece. I think it's the masterpiece. Yeah. This is the masterpiece hot rod in his um the Acom colors like the. Yeah. So it's the second release they did of it, but you can see she's a little shorter than that, um, but which I think fits. The scale that you know they go that Takara went with, whereas you know as we said the fan toys ones are a little larger for their movie scale, um, but she definitely scales with it really well. Whereas compared to the fan toys one, she's notably smaller. Um, but transformation wise, she's a lot less miserable than fan toys Rouge. Um, like I can't imagine I'll ever transform that figure again. I did it once. No um, one should. Yeah, uh, this gave me a chance to revisit this transformation and. I, I had forgotten a couple of steps on it. Um, and so there were a couple parts that were a little fiddly, like to get it to peg together at the end. Um, and yes. it's like, oh. But then like, once you realize like, Oh, that spins out and flips around, then it's fine. You know? Um, and the rest of it actually flows pretty good. Um, but if you get a little rusty, there are a couple parts that can kind of trip you up a little bit if you don't use instructions. Um, but it's, it, it's still not bad at all. I'm curious how it'll compare to the official engineering once that comes out. Um, but I, I personally struggled with the legs transforming at this time, even though I've done it before, just because they didn't feel like they don't feel like you're done. You know, they don't have that nice like snap in moment when you're like, oh, I did this right. It's kind of like you just need to pose them and then you have to clamp the lean around it. And it just took me a little bit to I was getting kind of mad at it trying to get that to go together. Yeah. And, and it does peg together when it's done, but it's just not it does. obvious that you're on the right path. At times, um, you can see on her wheel well here. There's a, uh, a peg hole here, 
And that's what Anna's talking about. Once you finally get the legs positions, that flips over, and that peg, there's a peg there that pops into it. But it feels, if you don't have things perfectly lined up, you can be forcing it a little more than you may want. Um, and that's kind of your lock at the end. Yeah. And it's, it's nice that it does that. Um, but I, you know, I'll just show the picture of the car mode from the box and it's neither of us have it in the car mode and it's not a fast transformation. It's not terrible. It's not as miserable as the fans toys one, but it's, it's not, not going to do it live. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to be done live. Um, that's what the car mode looks like. You know, you can probably find pictures online as well. I'm just showing the picture from the box, but I just want to say, I don't like the car mode. I've never liked the car mode on this figure. It feels like really? it's so close, but that cockpit is just robot kibble. It's just it's just a mess in there. Like it doesn't it has flip up seats that don't look like seats at all. You know, it like But it has them. It has them, it's true. But if you spend the five or six weeks to get your fans toys rouge transformed, she's got a very nice looking car mode. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I thought the that. car mode looked good. I think that the, the the tricky thing is, is there's like a tricky piece with the head that if you don't get a position right, then it doesn't look right uh, in car mode. But once you get that, it doesn't look right uh, in car mode. But once you get that in, as seen in the ad for tonight, the correct place for the head is inside of the cockpit. Did we cut out is something? Uh, Lucas was having double audio there for a second. Yeah, second. I, think no, we're good. I, okay. I don't know what if somebody had the the show on on Facebook or something. It looked like it was on delay or something. I don't know. Someone accidentally unmuted. Um, it's a very poseable figure but, too, which is great. It is, except for the standing. Yeah. The feet. No, I mean not, the feet. The like, feet stand okay if you get her like this. Now it's funny, Lucas, because you've never had these feet. Because they actually redid the feet. I had forgotten oh, about really? that. But yeah, the original had heels. Right. She had little heels and the new one has flatty feet. So the flatty oh, feet, yeah. are they better or worse? Worse. Oh. Well that's dumb. The the heels stood better, but the thing is, like, unfortunately my um, my black one I played with quite a bit in the weeks following up to the release of the new one, because I wanted to figure out if I wanted to own it or not. Because I kind of have a love-hate with this mold. So I was like, do I really want to get it? And just playing with it on my desk and imposing it, like, I have totally worn out one of the feet, where it is just a floppy mess now. And she does not stand very well anymore. She used to stand well. Yeah, but, like, can you just put some future on it or something? Or is that not... Probably. If I, if I look up how to do that carefully... I don't want to destroy it. I've already destroyed some feet. Oh, Future doesn't really destroy stuff, though. But, like, now, like, if I try to pose her, she'll she'll fall forward if I get her balanced right because her foot is bendy. Oh. It's a leaping action. She's trying to get right. you because she's yeah. scary. That's all it is. But, yeah, you know, that, that's the funny thing is, is so, like, the, the new uh, Siege, or not Siege, sorry, Earthrise RC that comes out where the, the piece of, like, you know, half of it's like a parts forming thing, whatever, right? You know, half of it's like a parts forming thing. What the hell's going on? It happened again. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, two of them. It's me. I don't know why. Okay. Oh, there you go. Um, Culprit found. What, what, what I was going to say, though, is um, that uh, everyone's complaining about that piece, but it's actually probably going to be a godsend because. You'll actually be able to peg the foot into it, and the little feet won't matter, you know? It's true. So, even though it'll look garish and awful and parts formery and whatever, but... One thing I, yeah. like, really dislike about the figure is um, it comes with a bunch of optional hands. So the hands very easily just pop out, and it's just a little ball joint in there, and she comes with a bunch of options. But when you put it in car mode, some of the hands don't fit. Yeah. Like, any of them that aren't fists don't fit. So you got to pop. Got to use the fisties. That's yeah. That's the thing that's frustrating because honestly, for me, I would just rather just have, you know, the hands that I want, and then put the rest in the box and don't worry about it, right? But that's you can't. All I do, yeah. But you can't do that though, like you said, because if you're going to transform it back and forth, like I don't know, I want it to be yeah. able to hold the guns in, uh, you know, in bot mode. And then, I just pop the hand off and set it on the desk. <laughs> yep. 
But that's only because I know I'm not going to leave her in car mode. If I was going to leave her in car mode, it would be an annoyance. Uh, that's what I did, too, because I had two of the open hands on. Like, I... I don't know, when it comes to my Transformers, like a lot of, you know, like Marvel Legends and other action figures, interchangeable hands are a standard. Like, you know, buy NECA toys, you get a bunch of different fists, whatever. Yeah. Um, Super 7 might give you some extra fists and stuff too. But for my Transformers, just give me typewriter fingers, if nothing else. You know, just give me, so they can close the jaw and they can cl- or close around a gun, as well as, you know, just form a fist for transformation. I don't want interchangeable hands. Um, uh, yeah, maybe it's just me, though, but... Like, they look nice. Like, they're all... But, yeah, they're not functional in car mode. It's just kind of dumb. Yeah, I don't like that. Like, I, I do like interchangeable hands. They also look like Figma, so I'm just used to it. But, um, yeah, they're not... They can't go in the car mode. And it did make me mad the other day when I was transforming it, because it was like, oh, the hands, they won't... Oh, yeah, and then I had to just pop them out and have a handless car. Which, most cars shouldn't have hands, but you don't want to have to pull up your Transformers hands, because then you feel like you're back in G1. Um, yeah. And that is <laughs> there one we go. This you is, don't want to go back to. This is like the ultimate G1 figure, then, right? You have hands you have to remove. <laughs> losing action. Uh, well, I can't imagine anyone else is going to do an RC based on those prototype colors. Hey, uh, now that Make Toys is back, maybe they'll redo their Coupla in those prototype RC colors. <laughs> no. Okay, no, they won't. But yeah, if you don't have any experience with the mold, I still think it's the best masterpiece level RC we've gotten. Um, you know, we'll see how the engineering is on the official, but obviously the backpack's better than the official, and there's some aesthetics about it that are better than the official from what we've seen. Um, and if you like weird, kooky stuff, I think she's excellent for that. Just excellent because she's very kooky. Yeah, she definitely settles the kooky. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like this one is sold out everywhere. So I haven't checked eBay to see what the price is, but all the regular stores are sold out. If you search around, you might find some people who buyers for more sir, though. There you go. Um, yeah. I'm sure there will be some people. Because I was going to buy hers for more sir until I tried out this head. Because was, she was just going to be a quick cycle through my collection. I was going to be like, I don't want this anymore. But then I put this head on it. I was like, oh, wow, it looks good now. So, plus it's kind of fun because now I have three heads and what, like eight faces between two RC figures that they can trade. So they can just trade heads around and faces and hands and it's just kind of fun. Their guns are the same. They're two the same for it to be much fun. The black ones' guns are just a lighter, just not silver. These are silver. The black ones are kind of white. She does come with two guns and be again. All right, we we can officially call the show now, Anna. Hi, Robotic. Good. <laughs> yep. It's important. I was explaining that she has stories for her guns and car mode. Yeah, and it's, I like how they uh, peg onto her hip. They kind of holster on there in bot mode yeah. if they're not holding. That's just something I forgot about until you said that. Because I just don't... This doesn't seem like a violent RC. This seems like a nice, silly RC. Not for me. This She's one's the ruthless. most violent. She's been picked on her whole life because of her colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is good for posing, though. Like, it has cool things, like the fact that you can pull the hips down so mm-hmm. that she can sit better. And that's just a nice little feature. Like, they did try to make this posable. Yep. That way they can repaint it 50 times and people would still like it. But yeah, she's a good figure. I would say that, you know, a version of this mold is probably worth the, the price point. You know, Definitely. she's always going to cost upwards of $100. Um, she's not super cheap, but definitely worth owning. I don't like the transformation very much, but she's definitely better than Fans Toys Rouge, so I can't complain. I just, I think that my problem is I just don't like the way the car looks. That's fine. Always going to have complaints somewhere. Yep. Yeah, good RC option. And the weirdest colors ever. Well, at least we managed to get our exclusives, even though the show didn't go on, so. 
Oh, she gave it the super cool box, too, because they did this. Yeah, I think it was yeah, Cho 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 King, right, that did the artwork. Yeah. And they did the, the Ghost in the Shell homage that I used for the ad. I tried to recreate it with the figure. Not do too well. I thought it was nice. She, the wire was... Um, several people misunderstood and thought that I was just being lazy and had my, like, mouse wire in front of it. It was like, no, it's in the picture. There's totally wires there. It's just... I should have used, like, yarn or something, not real wires. I just don't get it. Anyway. Anyway, it's here. It's good. Um, definitely one thing if you own it, like, if you own it and you transform it and you feel like the neck is wrong, you can shove it back in a little bit so it's not as drafty. That, like, really saved the figure for me. I guess I was about to throw away my first one just in the trash can when I first got it with that giraffe neck. But I fixed it. It was all better. Seems excessive. I'm a picky, picky person when it comes to Transformers. I think that's it, though. Do we have anything else to say? We like this figure. It's good. I like it. Lucas liked it enough to sell it to me. Yeah, no, I mean, honestly, if uh, if I ever get back into Masterpiece, this would probably be one of the first molds that I would get again. I really like this one. I really like, honestly, most of the stuff that MMC puts out. So They have really good transformations these days. Like, both yeah. lines are, are really good. Yep, and that's what I like. And unfortunately, most of the other <laughs> lines do not offer that. Uh, they offer very beautiful figures, but not necessarily the best transformations. I don't know. I think with the, the narrowing field, at least for the non-legend stuff that you know, I poke around in, I think other than fans' toys, I think most of the companies have just improved leaps and bounds. DX9 is usually a lot of fun, and X Trans bots are pretty good these days and have True. been for a couple of years now. True. I just feel like but like DX9 and X Trans bots doesn't put a lot of stuff out. I guess except for they've no. been working on their combiners, so I guess that's probably been taking up a lot of resources and whatnot. So, yeah. But. All right, well, uh, thank you guys for showing it off. So it's it fun to see those figures. Uh, thank you to everyone in the chat. Um, and uh, no Atch My Wallet uh, this week, so we'll be back probably next week, right, Rob? Yeah, every other week is the plan, at least. So, and then, um, yeah, so Friday, cut the tape. Sunday night is uh, TF Talk News, so check that out. And, and it's uh, the 10th episode so uh it's gonna it's mr star screen is gonna do some special things for it there, there you go he's going all out all out so he ha he actually made 10 so it's quite a milestone yeah <laughs> number 10 special edition um and uh and, and of course monday nights uh, check us out on youtube uh tfylp um so we just had that uh last night uh rick and i got off topic quite a bit so you can listen to us ramble on about God knows what. Uh, I heard it was all over the, place. the entire show should be put in the off-topic part of the Discord. I felt that <laughs> yes. might have been a fair comment. That, that honestly would be a very fair comment for this show. So, but uh, yeah, so um, yeah, and if uh, uh, yeah, make sure and check out our Discord as well. Uh, so what is it? Uh, Bitly slash. What is the... I don't know the bit.ly. Oh, crap. I just don't... I think it's TF Talk... God. See, this is... I don't know, just post in our group. Yeah. On the Facebook group yeah. or look at any YouTube video, recent ones, it's in there. So it's easy to find. We'll get it for you. Don't worry. We want you to come <laughs> visit. We have a pretty active Discord. Yep. yep. I talk a lot. Now, if that scares you off, then don't come. But... So... And then, uh, of course, if you like us and what we do, uh, consider supporting us on Patreon, patreon.com slash TFYLP. So, yeah, um, we'll try and get a link to the Discord and put it in the chat, because I can't remember, it's like bit.ly slash TFCore Discord or something like that, TF Talk Discord. But yeah, we'll, we'll, put, uh, we'll put a link in there in the comments here real quick. I don't know, if, Anna, would you be able to do that? Put a link in the comments like, do right you have, now. Do you have Facebook up? Yeah, do you have Facebook up that you'd be able to... I do. I have to put my little kitty cat away, and then uh, I have to find it. 
Where where do we keep that Bitly link at? I got it. I got a, at least a temporary link. Thank you. There we go. Oh, and Ron one, dropped one of the a link fans too. actually helped with that. Thank oh, you there so you much. Go. There, we've got several links to the Discord now Thank in you. here, so you can come and hang out, and we talk about just you know everything robot related. All right, well, thank you guys, and we'll see you next week.